considering the social cultural dimension of the multipath model for schizophrenia, we consider factors such as age and gender and the social and cultural environment. So with age, we know that men tend to have a earlier, an earlier and more severe onset of the disorder. But once we get into mid 40s to 50s, more women get diagnosed. So we have more men being diagnosed in teens, 20s, early 30s. By the time we get to mid 40s and 50s, new cases are most likely to be diagnosed in women. And it could be that just as estrogen is protective for heart disease in women, it's protective for psychiatric disorder as well. After menopause, the level of estrogen dramatically reduces. And part of the evidence for this comes from the fact that um, post ovulation each month when the estrogen level is highest, we see improvements in psychotic symptoms. So when the estrogen level is higher as it would be before menopause, we see fewer symptoms in women. Other social risk factors a lower education level of the parents, lower occupation status of the father living in a poorer residential area at birth, and migration among first and second immigrants to the UK. So cultural also affects the way the disorder is viewed. Um, among different cultures, psychiatric symptoms are viewed differently, however, Remember that we do have that 1% um, prevalence rate worldwide for schizophrenia regardless of culture.